it's Turk. In today's video, we'll be doing the front and rear rotors and pads on a BMW 135i. Let's get to it. Okay, the first thing we wanna do is remove this plastic cover on the driver's side to expose the brake booster. It's gonna be just a tab on each side. Just wanna pull up, it's gonna pop right out. There's gonna be a rubber boot for the drain. Slide that right out and just remove the cap off the reservoir and leave that just like that. Okay, pop the trunk and disconnect your negative terminal off your battery. Always disconnect the battery when you're working on your BMW and make sure not to close your trunk. Okay, go ahead and crack all the lug nuts before raising the car. Okay, the first step, once you're finished removing the wheel and jacking up the car, is to remove the six millimeter Allen key screw that connects the rotor to the hub. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, once you remove the screw for the rotor, you wanna go ahead and remove the four screws for the brake pads. They're gonna be held in by a T40. Okay, once you're done removing the four T40s, you wanna go ahead and remove the two 18 millimeter bolts for the brake caliper. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, once you're done removing those two 18 millimeter bolts, the caliper is free. And since we already removed the six millimeter Allen key for the rotor, it should all come out no problem. But if your rotor is seized, the caliper will still come out on its own. Okay, once you remove the caliper from the rotor, you wanna go ahead and remove the brake pads. Okay, now that I have the brake pads removed, I wanna go ahead and push these pistons back. And all you have to do is just hold on to the caliper and push down on each one. Okay, once you're done pushing the pistons back on the caliper, just go ahead and take a flathead and scrape all this rust and debris out. Clean up the hub real nice to install the rotor. Take a little bit of sandpaper, clean it up really good. Okay, our hub is prepped. Now we're ready to install our rotor.
Okay, once you're done installing your rotor, go ahead and install your brake pads, and then you can reinstall your caliper. Okay, everything's installed. The two 18 millimeter bolts are going to be 81 foot pounds, and the four T40s are going to be 22 foot pounds. Everything in the front is finished. Now let's go to the rear. First thing we wanna do is go ahead and remove the screw for the rotor. It's gonna be a, a six millimeter Allen key. Okay, once you're done removing the screw for the rotor, you wanna go ahead and remove these pins to disconnect our brakes. The rear is a little different from the front. So what you wanna do is grab a 3 8 extension, grab a towel, wrap a towel around the extension, put that on the pin. There you go, push that back. Now you want to do the same thing, but use a Phillips screwdriver. And what we want to do is push that pin out. There we go. Once you pop the pins out, just take the pliers and pull them out. Okay, once you're done removing those pins, you wanna remove the two 16 millimeter bolts in the rear. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, sometimes the rear rotor is seized to the hub. So the best way to get this out, just a few wax here, here, and here. And that should be right out. Okay, once again, once you get the rotor out, just do a quick cleaning. Okay, our hub is ready for our rotor. Let's go ahead and install that. Okay, once you're done installing your rotor, make sure the pistons are fully pushed back on the caliper and reinstall your caliper. Unlike the front, the brake pads slide in from the top. And just a quick tip, the brake sensor in the rear is on the passenger side and the brake sensor in the front is gonna be on the driver's side. So just slide your brake pads in, put the retainer and reinstall the pins. And we should be all set here. 
Okay, everything's reinstalled. The two 16 millimeter bolts in the rear are gonna be 48 foot pounds. And when you put the pins in, you can use a 3 8 adapter with the hammer and just push them right back in. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, stick around for future content. Yeah. When you say